Hi Libra, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. This is Dane, and I'm going to be doing your April 23rd, 2024 full moon reading for you. Now I ask if this reading resonates with you. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. All the good things that the YouTube algorithm likes, so thank you so very much for doing so. So let's see what the tarot has to say. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels and spirit guides. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Angels and spirit guides. Angels. Okay. So we're crowned here with the eight of swords. So we're way too much in our own head. Just be, just be aware of this. During this full moon, this full moon is in Scorpio. So if we have a lot of Scorpio in our chart, if we're born on the cusp with Scorpio, this can come through very, very powerfully during this time. So just be mindful about this, that this full moon in Scorpio can really speak to us because it can, it can make us feel like we can make, we can, feel, getting my words, we can feel stuck. So just be aware of this. We can overthink, we can overanalyze. We're feeling too much. All right. And that can just paralyze us. It's our heart and our head coming together to be like, no, don't move. Don't move at all. You know, stay perfectly still Libra. And then you'll be able to kind of have, you know, everything pass and then you'll be able to move forward. But it's just going to bring us to a place where we overthink, we overanalyze and we just feel stuck. So just be mindful about this during this time. With the six of swords, we need to take our knowledge, be guided by our angels, move forward slowly and steadily. Know that we're going to be a bit unsure as we move forward. Yeah, that's part of life and that's part of the course. But we need to trust ourselves, trust our angels, trust our guidance as we move forward. The full moon in Scorpio is a combination, a combo, culmination, culmination, yeah, that's the word, of the intentions that we set in the new moon in Scorpio six months ago. So if you keep a diary or you have a, a moon journal, look back six months ago, see what it says, because this is going to be a time where you see yourself moving forward, ac accomplishing those intentions, you know, really moving forward in what you want. It moves us then to the nine of swords reverse. It's interesting. We can overthink, we can overanalyze, but we're also starting to release a lot of worry, a lot of worry, a lot of doubt, a lot of fear. We're, we're starting to say, I am not defined by this. Worry, doubt, fear, and chaos. It brings us then to the six of wands, the repeat of the number six. This is a nurturing number, and this is a nurturing time for us to embrace what we want, to embrace moving forward in our power. The six of wands is success, it's prosperity, it is celebrating ourselves, it's seeing a job well done. And that's going to be a really beautiful thing. With the four of pentacles, the four of pentacles is vampiric energy. For one reason or another, we feel like something is trying, something is trying to manipulate us. Okay. And this is going to be a time where we become aware of those manipulations and we say, no, we're also going to see certain blockages that we have or energy that we're giving. You know, we can feel like, wow, I go to this certain I go out with a certain person or I go to this certain event or this certain thing happens. I just feel so drained. I just feel so exhausted. And that's going to be because we're giving our energy instead of, instead of knowing how to safeguard it within ourselves. So just be aware of this during this time here, Libra. With the six of pentacles, again, another six coming up, three sixes. That is definitely spirit talking to us. The six of pentacles comes forward. We need to embrace the balance of things, especially in alignment to us when we were little. There's something of our inner self coming forward where it's like, okay, you fell out of alignment with who you were when you were small or what you desired when you were small. And now it's time to come back into alignment with that. It's time to see that beauty moving us forward. It's money or what we value as much as money. It is looking at ourselves in our passion and in our fire as a success and holding our head up high and knowing that as we embrace our knowledge, we move forward steadily a little bit apprehensively because there's always more to learn. There's always more to see. There's always more to know. Then we have the three of swords. We're dealing with a heartbreak. We're dealing with a pain. We're dealing with a disappointment. We're dealing with three major setbacks in our life that we can have to find us to the end of time and say, these three things, these three things, they broke me, they hurt me, they overwhelmed me. 
And spirit is going to say here with the three of swords, do not let this be what defines you. This is going to be a time where we look at the pain, we look at the hurt, we look at the disappointment, and we say, I see you, but you are not my defining factor. You, you are not fully and only me, you know? So let's see what spirit has to say. And if you're interested in entering to receive a free reading, put a rain cloud in the comment box below. A person will be chosen at random and announced on Sunday. So good luck to everyone. Angels. Oh, and hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when that reading comes up. Angels, or when that um, when the winner is announced. There we go. Angels and spirit guides, show me clearly. Guide this reading and show me clearly, angels. This is positivity. It is time to embrace the positive. It will be so easy and it is so easy for us to fall into the negative, to fall into the overthinking, the overanalyzing. It is time to embrace positivity and it is time for us to look at things in a very positive, very brilliant, very kind of half glass, glass half full type of way, seeing ourselves as blessed and calling forward those blessings. It moves us to our chakra energy angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly we have here our life purpose this full moon in scorpio is starting to align us and is continuing to align us with our life purpose this is our throat chakra it has to do with our voice it has to do with standing in the power of our voice it has to do with really embracing what we want from this world and it's seeing ourselves so our life purpose moves us forward with tenacity and with success embracing our third chakra by humming by chanting by singing is also going to be a great way to really enhance that purpose coming forward meaning that during this time we're going to say certain things or realize certain things and it's like oh but that's me oh but that's me it's like i'm coming home our energy to be mindful of angels and spirit guides show me clearly guide this reading and show me clearly okay so we have the ten of pentacles and we have the seven of wands reversed we need to be mindful of of feeling exhausted from always feeling like we have to fight okay we're going to be really tired with it but it's like well i always have to fight i always have to be on guard so just be mindful with that during this time because it's always like having a clench fist that's exhausting keeping your hand clenched in a fist just for a few seconds is exhausting imagine our energy being like that it is time to release it's time to say i stand up for what i believe in but i'm not i'm not fighting every battle i'm not you know wasting my energy on um, um, people and things that we'll never understand. And the Ten of Pentacles, don't look at what everybody else is doing. This this is feeling like there's a generational curse on you, right? Like there's there's prosperity that everybody else gets to have that you don't get to have. Stop. Stop. It is time to see your blessings. It is time to see you. Hold your head up high. and And don't look at the others running the race. It just doesn't matter just doesn't. And yet our world tells us everybody else matters so much. Like where you are in the lineup, you have to be achieving and succeeding and winning and winning and winning. And yet it's exhausting. Stand in your energy, stand in yourself and embrace your power. Get out of your own head, get out of your own way. That is going to be so important, Libra. And it sounds rude, but we all know people who live in the eight of swords, who overthink, who overanalyze, and who become so afraid that they just don't do anything. So just be mindful about that with the eight of swords, overthinking, overanalyzing, being too harsh on yourself. With the six of swords, it's time to move forward. Your angels are blessing, to, blessing you. It's time to move forward. The nine of swords, stop with the worry. We're going to be releasing the worry. Also, when we worry, people don't see it. People don't see us as being worried or being overwhelmed. They really see us as having things under control. So when we worry and we're like, why don't people get that I'm upset or I'm worried or are having a struggle here? And it's like, because they see you as somebody who has everything under control. So just be aware of that because that can also be really frustrating. The Six of Wands is moving forward in, in confidence, in success and in power, this is going to be a time where we see our fire, where we see our tenacity really coming forward. We're going to be seeing with this moon that we have certain blockages, okay, around the solar plexus chakra, heart chakra, earth star chakra, crown chakra, 
Earth Star Chakra, we can feel like the energy just doesn't flow. This is going to be a time where we look at the vampiric energy. We look at the energy of those around us, of those who have been in our lives that are just draining us. And we say no more. We, we sever those ties. You know, we sever the ties and we embrace our power, our tenacity, our self. With the six of pentacles, we are going to see ourselves calling out what isn't in balance in our life with money or what we value as much as money. And it stems from when we're little. It stems from childhood where we either learned that this is just going to be out of balance and we just have to get used to it. You know, who do you think you are type of thing? And we felt guilty about this. And so we carry that guilt into adulthood. This is going to be a time where we see it and we start to release. Because with the three of swords, we see the pain. We know the pain that we have been through and we are no longer being defined by it anymore. Our subconscious energy from spirit is create. It is time to embrace our creative self, to embrace the things that we love to create, to embrace our passion and to embrace you know, our fire of being. It's like embrace being a creative being. That is why we're on this earth. Our subconscious chakra energy is the heart chakra reversed. For one reason or another, we don't feel safe, which means we don't play. Human beings only play when they feel safe. This is going to be a time where we need to see the blockage around our heart chakra that is keeping us from joyous laughter, from play, and from celebration, because it's time to call that back in. Our subconscious energy to be mindful of is Scorpio energy. This is the death card, the dying way of the old self, the rebirth of the new. We need to be mindful that this, this full moon in Scorpio is not necessarily going to be the easiest moon. It's going to have an intensity to it that we didn't really bargain for. So just be aware of that. Our subconscious tarot message is the four of wands and the four of wands reversed is I don't get to celebrate it quite yet. There's something here that we want to celebrate that we want to embrace the joy of, but I don't get to celebrate it quite yet. So just be aware of that. That can make us a little bit bitter. So just be aware of that, that there's something that's coming forward during this time where spirit's saying, get out of your own head. Okay. Don't let the vampiric energy pull you down. You're starting a new chapter. You're moving forward with your success. It's time to create the world that you want. Embrace play, embrace laughter, put the funny movies on, on, you know, on TV and just let yourself laugh. Let yourself raise your energy vibration. And you're going to see that you shatter you know, others expectations, but also you shatter like certain barriers that have been around you for too long. Okay. All right, Libra. I hope this reading has resonated with you. I wish you nothing but light, love, peace, and happiness. May harmony always be with you. I am sending loving, healing energy to each and every one of you. I love you all and stay safe. Let's end this reading with a meditation, a clearing away of negative energy, a raising of our positive energy as we embrace the power, intensity, and beauty of this full moon and of ourselves. And please note that this meditation and healing will be accompanied by a loud sound. So take a nice deep breath in, exhaling whenever it feels comfortable for you. May you move forward in peace and in harmony. Libra, may blessings and prosperity always be with you. I love you all. God bless and have a blessed moon. Bye.